if you guys caught my previous video you'll know that my sister is visiting from america and these are the restaurants that i either introduced to her or we just stumbled upon randomly and i loved it and i would also recommend it to you guys if you guys are coming to korea starting with the first one and there is a reason why this is number one here we are I recommend this place is called Jimmyeonmok and they serve a variety of authentic Korean food but they're most well known for their Hanu Tungsim Shabu Kalguksu Shabu Kalguksu knife noodles so the reason why I put this restaurant as number one is because for the price that you pay you get a fuck ton of food and it's like really good quality really delicious food dude guys this is all man so it's like and then there's $25 this is all, yeah, $25. Maybe less, maybe like 24. Like I said, the price for this Hanu Kaguksu meal was 14,000 won a person. Because my sister and I are two people, we obviously ordered two servings worth of food. You always have the option of adding in more veggies or more meat. Now, if you are visiting Korea, it is without a doubt you have Coex Mall on your list. And I'm gonna recommend you guys to do something, and it's gonna be do not eat inside Coex. Like, if you see a restaurant or eatery inside Coex, I would recommend passing on that and instead go to the next street over, which is like the local authentic food alleyways. They're called mokja gormok, literally translates to eating alleyway because these are alleyways that are filled with just like local authentic Korean cuisine or just like eateries that locals really love. We also decided to order an extra side of dumplings and my god, these were really fucking good dumplings. So as you saw, it comes with all the veggies, it comes with the meat, but it also comes with kalguksu, which is the knife cut noodles. And these little small balls, they're actually very small dumplings. All right, now you think that's the end? No. This, okay, looks disgusting, but it's porridge. Which I actually forgot to take a clip of them making the porridge the worker actually makes it for you right in front of your eyes what they do with the remaining broth is that they make porridge out of it it's just rice and extra veggies so i found this machine outside the restaurant i'm assuming i don't know what it is maybe it's sterilization um, or just getting rid of the smell on your clothes i don't know anyways i ate so much with my sister that i was very very uncomfortable so we stopped by the convenience store to get kind of um digestive enzymes is that what they're called taking a digestive enzyme so in korea like eating squash is like normal is it normal in, in america no no right no so in korea the moment halloween's over the christmas trees christmas lights come out all right, one of the main reasons I brought my sister to Coex is because there was a coffee shop I wanted to try out. Um, it's Percent Arabica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this coffee shop is the hypest of hypes right now in Korea because it recently opened. If you guys know about this coffee shop, I believe it originated in Japan and they have multiple locations throughout like Southeast Asia and uh, other parts of the Middle East, I believe. But like it, this is the first location that came into Korea and like a lot of Korean when there's a new coffee shop open, like it's a hype. No, you, you, tell, tell, you taste it and tell me. My sister drank it and she was like, mm. I miss my Dunkin' latte. <laughs> <laughs> you have huh? Alright, is it worth 2,000 won for this? No, I don't think so. 2,000 won. 2,000 won. So yeah, heads up, in terms of Korean pricing, this is known to be an expensive cup of coffee. And with that being said, it was very lackluster in my opinion. So I don't know why I'm including this into this video because I wouldn't recommend going here. But I guess like if you guys want to know what the Korean hype is in recent months, yeah, it's percent Arabica. 
Moving on into the second restaurant that I want to introduce you guys is if you guys are ever at Gangnam Station, hit this place up. They are a specialty place for Korean short ribs, aka kalbi jim. Now, what makes this place particular or very special is they have rose kalbi jim, so spicy cream short ribs, which is like a very fusionistic like Korean recipe. I took my sister as well as a friend, and we got the three-person set meal. It comes with chumokbap, which is the rice balls you can personally make. The spicy cream short ribs, the regular short ribs, as well as tortilla. Um, I don't know why they gave us tortilla, but I was like, I let's go. As well as um, keranjin, which is steamed egg, as well as two sodas. So we got cola and Sprite. Sorry, I don't have a good video clip of this restaurant because I didn't want to ruin our dinner atmosphere by recording. You know what? You know what I mean? Chicken is here. Let's fucking eat. If Ned has Nick. Dude, that looks fucking gorgeous. Wait, wait. Now, if you're in Korea, it is without a doubt you do have to eat Korean fried chicken. Now, there are a plethora of Korean fried chicken restaurants in Korea. But I'm gonna tell you my personal favorite. There's two. This one here, right here, is Nene Chicken. And then the second one I would highly recommend is BBQ Chicken. Personally, for me, what makes Nene Chicken as well as BBQ Chicken superior out of all the franchises is that it is so crispy. The meat. It's, it's meaty. Look at the meat in this boneless chicken usually when you order boneless chicken like they give you the scraps so majority of it is usually just like skin but look at the meaty goodness Another place that I want to introduce you guys to is called Pukchangdong Sundubu. This is a franchise once again. I know I shouldn't be introducing you guys to franchises, but it's another thing that kind of like I would highly recommend because my sister recently told me how much BCD is charging for their Sundubu. And she told me it's like $16, $17 for like one soup. Dude, with that being said, if you are going to be coming to Korea, enjoy the sundubu here, man. Because right now here, sundubu is like around like $8, I would say. And you get like all of this. The food tastes very, very similar. Um, I'm not going to lie. I will say BCD in America is slightly better. But, you know, for the price, like... Last but not least, here is a cafe that me and my sister just randomly stumbled upon and it was cute, it was nice, aesthetic. It's a place where you could get work done if, on your laptop. Um, it is called Cafe Sept, um, located near Hapjung Station. Personally for me, I don't go to cafes in Hongdae actually. If I ever do want to go to a cafe, I always go to Hapjung Station because they have more low-key um, remote cafes.